Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Nerd Mode on, and welcome to Recap, a video series where I'll be going over what has been occurring over the last week and just talk with you guys about things that you can be expecting in future episodes. So with that said and done, let's jump right into the episode, shall we? So of course, starting things off on the YouTube front, I'm very satisfied by the overall quality that everything's been presented as, as well as the production that's been going in behind the scenes. So by and large, I'm very satisfied by that. However, we did miss Sniper Sunday again. That seems to be my one series that I struggle to always get up on a consistent basis, considering that I'm not very known for a sniper as well as I don't really find the class to be my cup of tea. However, I do enjoy making the videos for it. I do find it to be very interesting by itself. I think the formula that I've come up with and that I've went with is very good and it's very quick paced, especially when it comes down to retaining the knowledge that you guys need to know, as well as presenting the statistics in a manner that is easily read. Readable. I think that's always very understandable and I always think it's very appreciated especially from you guys So of course with that said that was the only video this week that didn't get uploaded when it probably should have of course But of course with that said and done I have been working with quite a bit of graphical work to try to get some of the existing series as well as a little bit more Enhanced you guys have been leaving very constructive feedback, which I always appreciate I think that's definitely a good thing between viewer and content producer to have but at the same expense of course I've been trying to get those initiated into the videos. It's taken a little longer than I thought, but I promise when they do come out, you guys will really enjoy them and you guys will note that a lot of effort did go into them. Now, of course, transitioning into the gaming side of things, I haven't really been playing a whole lot of games, to be completely frank with you guys. I've been playing a little bit of the Battlefield 4 side of things. I played even a very minute amount of Battlefield Hardline, but... I don't know, I didn't quite enjoy it as much as I had envisioned myself, but at the same expense, I also haven't given it a fair shake, so I will be willing to admit that I haven't given it a fair chance. However, I do find the vehicles in Battlefield Hardline to be pretty fun, like I think that's something that a lot of people seem to really enjoy. Of course, there isn't really a whole lot of physics with them, they kind of drive up walls and stuff like that, so... I imagine that problem will be fixed, but at the moment, you can kind of drive up the side of a wall, and you can go through stuff, and it's a little glitchy, but it's to be expected in an alpha build of the game, so I'm not too angry in that department. Now, with that said, I have actually purchased Civilization V, which is a game that kind of came on my radar because of a bunch of other YouTubers were playing it, and they kind of got into a little party, and it was a four-way combat, and I thought that was really awesome. I really enjoyed it, and I thought it would be a game that was down my road, and long and behold, it definitely is. It's a game that... I don't know a whole lot about, so I mean, if you were to play me, you would probably destroy me, but by itself, I do find things to be pretty awesome in the game. It reminds me of the old days of playing like Stronghold Crusader and just the Crusader series by itself. If you guys are unfamiliar with that game, it's kind of like a sandbox game where you build castles and then you attack enemy units and stuff like that. However, you do have a lot more control when it comes down to building your castle, building your overall defenses and stuff like that. Now, of course, they're two completely different games in that aspect, but... I don't know, Civilization kind of caught my eye when I realized that you could have like futuristic and military units. I thought that was pretty awesome and I've been having a lot of fun. I think I've dumped in six hours and it just seems like time just kind of disappears during that period because six hours will eventually just come and you'll have no clue that you just kind of gave up the entire day, which in most cases I'm not too mad about. But by itself, I'm just letting you guys know a game like that and the way it's configured is willing to take all of your time and all of your free time that you will ever have and completely just absorb it because it's absolutely insane and I really enjoyed it and I had a lot of fun. Hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys some videos someday, but at the moment I don't think you guys want to watch me making huge mistakes and also not bringing forward the best commentary in the entire world because I tend to get really quiet during those periods, but by itself I've been having a lot of fun and hopefully I'll be able to get some friends together and we'll just kind of play maybe a co-op version of the game. But other than that, there really hasn't been a whole lot of gaming at the moment. Work's been picking up still, and I guess with that in mind, of course, let's talk a little bit about real life and let you guys know about what's been going on on the behind-the-scenes version of what my day entails. So, of course, with that in mind, jumping right into the work theme of things, I've been actually really enjoying work, which is something that is a little different for me. I usually try to focus on the negatives of work for some reason, and then from that point, I tend not to last too long considering that it just kind of overwhelms me. I mean, I might not be explaining this the best of its capacity, but I promise you guys, this time around, I don't know, I'm really enjoying it, which is weird considering that I don't think I'll be working for this company for the rest of my life, but I'm enjoying it at the time. So 
I'm pretty satisfied in that department. Now, of course, I still make you guys videos at least every day, which I really enjoy. It's not really a hobby that I can think of off the top of my head that I'd rather be doing. It's a very fun experience. You know, I may not be making the most cinematic videos in the entire world, but I do spend a lot of time on them for you guys, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. And then one of the main reasons I'm building a rendering slash streaming PC is to hopefully give you guys hope in the future. You know, I would like to be able to crank out multiple videos a day, but at the render settings that I use, that's not really something that's very reasonable, especially when it already takes about two and a half to three hours to render, as well as the pre-production and everything that goes in before. So at the moment, that's kind of a project that's on the back burner, but hopefully someday it will become a reality and you guys will really appreciate it in the near future. Now, of course, when it comes down to the main basics of what my day entails, I mainly just kind of do what most people do. Now, however, with working, that kind of absorbs a good amount of time. But when I do come home, of course, I get you guys your videos. And a lot of the times I tend to watch movies while that period's going on. And I've been really enjoying some of the TV shows I've been finding, some movies along the way. Now, of course, a lot of the movies that I watch, I've rewatched probably like 300 times, considering that they're classics, or they're just really action-packed, and that's what my mind is striving for, is those intense Michael Bay moments. And with that in mind, it's definitely pretty fun, and I really enjoy it. It's kind of like a time sink in a different aspect, but it allows me to really enjoy what the movie departments, as well as what the cinema has to offer. Now, of course, with that said, I would really like to go to some of the movies in theaters. I think this is probably like the prime moment to go to the theaters, considering that there's a lot of great movies in there. And I'm personally really excited for Godzilla, X-Men franchise, because that's always a really good one by itself as well as Neighbor and some other things that are currently peaking up right now. You have 22 Jump Street, which I think just came out yesterday, which I'm hoping to go see here hopefully soon. But by and large, guys, there's a lot of great movies. If you guys have somebody to go with or maybe you just like to go to the movies alone, I think this is a pretty good time, especially if any of the titles I just listed off piqued any kind of interest in your mind. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much all that my day entails at the moment. Hopefully next week will be more exciting, but at the moment I'm pretty relaxed and everything's going very well. So... Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. A recap, of course, if you guys would like to leave any constructive feedback, let me know in the comments below. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next installation. And this is NMO, and I'm going to be signing out, guys. Peace.